Hello, this is Tom Evans along with Kristen Bauer behind the camera bringing you this week's Matt Report sponsored by Cobos Insurance. Cobos Insurance is locally owned and proud sponsors of high school wrestling. Please consider Cobos Insurance for all your insurance needs. Four Lorraine County Schools traveled to the Husky Invitational at Northwestern High School in West Salem, with Midview taking up the runner-up trophy behind perennial state power Wadsworth. The Middies once again showed its depth as a team placing nine wrestlers in the tournament. The Middies were led by Zach Short's first place at 113 pounds, followed up with 106-pounder Gage Barbeau and 285-pound Austin Dye, finishing with runner-ups. Avon Lake finished a respectable fourth place with seven place winners, led by 120-pound Mike Valerino and 126-pounder Nate Perry as runners-up and Joe Marconi finishing third. Wellington also had a strong showing finishing sixth as a team and led by the usual suspects of 132-pound Jeremiah McKee and 165-pound Derek Andelsek, both winning titles for the Dukes. Keystone also placed five wrestlers with 144-pound Tristan Green finishing third, the highest place winner for the Wildcats. Four county teams traveled to the 54-team Mommy Bay Classic last weekend, as Sean Bennett reported in the Chronicle Telegram. The highlight for the county was Illyria's Peyton Fenishin finishing as runner-up, losing in sudden victory overtime. Other place winners for the Pioneers were Keon McKinney at 113 pounds and Connor Holm at 144 pounds, both finishing in seventh place. Fireland standout duo of Ruben, Pina Lorenzana, and Caden King both came home as place winners, with Pina Lorenzana finishing seventh and King finishing eighth. The other county place winner was Ty Doherty of Avon. After the Bill Dees tournament was canceled, Avon was able to enter the Maumee Bay with Doherty bringing home a seventh place. It was a very good week for Doherty, as earlier in the week he committed to wrestling at Roanoke College next year. Other county action included North Ridgeville traveling to Akron Springfield to another one of those tournaments that sprang up with the cancellation of the Dees tournament. The Rangers came in with an eighth place finish led by Jared Count's championship at 132 pounds and runner-up finished by 150-pounder Omar Abazayed. Third place finishes by 106-pound Ian Rotary and 215-pound Tyler Duff. Columbia traveled to Warren to wrestle in the Holland Invitational. Columbia came away with a fifth-place finish with Cole Schulke staying on a roll, winning a championship along with Tony Governor at 157 pounds. Josh Hickman at 120 and Garrett Such finishes runners-up. This week's action will feature another round of LCA double duels and duel meets in the Southwest Conference. Mark your calendars for January 29th, as Luria will be hosting a tri-meet with Amherst and Finley and celebrating Coach Eric Burnett's 25th year as Luria's head coach. The LCA teams are preparing for their conference meet on February 12th, as well as the Southwest Conference getting for their conference meet on February 19th. Until next week, this is Tom Evans. Thanks to Cobos Insurance for their support of high school wrestling.